Ladies and gentlemen, people all over the world, I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, Son of the living God. Today, I'm here to talk about HTLV1 and as to what it is, because I get the um, Google alerts on HIV cure every day. And every day there, they scream and yell and squawk about a problem that we are all having for a number of years. And the Lord God has given to me answers to the very problems. Now, question is, what is HDLV? And this was the topic of the article on Google Alerts, which states that it's a devastating health crisis affecting central australia australians are nice i have a good friend that lives in australia so it does concern me now i begin with the um scripture i take my scripture from leviticus 18 verse 22 and 23 now verse 22 speaks of the rules for kinsmen 22 says thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind it is an abomination neither shall thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down thereunto, it is confusion. Now we turn to chapter, chapter 20. And we go to verse 13, 15, 16. In verse 13 it says, If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination they shall surely be put to death their blood shall be upon them verse 15 says if a man lie with a beast he shall surely be put to death and ye shall slay the beast now in verse 16 it says and if a woman approach unto any beast and lie down thereof thereto thou shalt kill the woman and the beast they shall surely be put to death their blood shall be upon them now i am not preaching a scripture i'm not preaching to you on who lies with who I am using it as the background to say it is an abomination and it is confusion and it is not to be done. But we know otherwise. I was listening to Prophet Sadhu Salvaraj in one of his videos a, a while back. And he was sent by the kingdom of heaven to speak to the people of Australia. Here are the angels that led him to, to speak or came to him with the message were the same ones that went to Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, they gave him a message particularly for Sydney, Australia, in which the story goes. That there are women lying with women, men with men, women lying with beasts such as dogs, men lying with beasts such as dogs. The veracity of such a situation can be seen all over the world, so we dare not point a finger and say Sydney is. No, we are saying an abomination to the Lord exists among the peoples of the world, everybody included. And those who are not included, 
are deeply affected. Now, um, in the 1970s and 80s, there was a Dr. Robert Strecker, and I listened to that guy when I first got ambushed and I tried to con uh, contact him, and then I saw it was a memorandum, meaning he is, or maybe, no more. But he has left a number of video online, and they are on YouTube. So you can visit his videos, R-O-B-E-R-T-S-T-R-E-C-K-E-R, Robert Strecker Memorandum. I was fascinated with him because at the then time I was just learning about HIV and AIDS and he had some of the answers as to what the problems were. Now, one of the problems that he outlined was the jump, the jump from humans to other species, likewise from other species to humans when the world scientific community seemed to have been in the process of hiding or hiding the ball instead of putting it in the open so people with ideas can help or have a say i am saying this because i am one of those who since 19 since 16 years ago i have been given by the kingdom of heaven, the answer to the cure curse of HIV and AIDS. Has anybody listened? Ha, ah, no. All they want is some, somebody to squeeze it softly to them in the corner that nobody else knows. And then they get well, they shut their mouths. Anyhow, that's not for this video. So Robert Strecker has given us the basis of which the HIV is able to jump species. And yes, he's right. But the scientific community does not wish to say what it is. Now, or do they care to know? Or is the money too good? And the reasons politically and economically go on forever. Now, in an article in the google alert that says hiv cure they have a number of articles each day and this day is an article that says from the guardian you the u.s guardian it doesn't have a folio number or so on it just has today's date which is april 24. now it says Human T lymphotropic virus type 1 is spread through contaminated blood, unprotected sex, and breast milk. Like HIV, there is no cure. Like HIV, the virus causes potentially fatal complications, but unlike HIV, it takes much longer for symptoms to appear. Now, when you get into the article, the first thing it says, it's, uh, and I read some of it, the devastate HIV, what is HTLV-1? The devastating health crisis affecting Central Australia. Now, in reading the first sentence, it says, what is H? TLV1. And it says now, uh, human T lymphotrophic virus type 1 is spread through contaminated blood and protected sex, plus milk. Like HIV, there is no cure. Like HIV, the virus causes potential fatal complications, but takes longer. Some people may carry the virus for 30 years before chronic complications appear. Next, it asks the question, what does it do? It says 5 to 10% of all those with the virus will develop a rapidly fatal form of leukemia, and nearly all those who contract, le contract leukemia 
will die within 12 months of diagnosis. Other life-threatening complications include uh, kidney failure, lung disease, inflammation of the spinal cord leading to paralysis. We skip some of these and go to the severity of symptoms seem to depend on the viral load in the bloodstream. The higher the viral load, the more likely symptoms will appear. In Central Australia, communities have high viral load and most common complications is a severe lung disease. We'll skip some of this and go down who is at risk. Who is at risk? HL HTLV infects up to 20 million people worldwide. It's epidemic to Sub-Saharan Africa, South America, Papua New Guinea, Japan, and Central Australia, which has the highest transmission rates in the world. Now, I will, um, I will stop the reading at that and get to the answers. Now, people have been mating or having intercourse with animals. Animals, we are now able to cross, they are now able to cross the virus, just like Dr. Strecker had predicted in the 1970s. The virus has jumped species. When it's jumped species, it is similar to HIV, but a little bit, with a little difference. We won't go into that today. What I am here to give to the people who have are infected and affected by HTLV-1 is that ambush is the cure for HIV and AIDS and it works for HTLV-1. How do I know? Because I had one of those patients from Africa was living in Baltimore, New uh, Baltimore somewhere, okay, Maryland. And her spinal cord, the myelin sheath was completely eaten away by the disease, the HIV. And her viral load was always in, 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 in almost a million, 300,000 to a million. And she was on the finest of medication. And it only dropped after she started taking ambush. And then all hell broke loose because I was cut off from her completely. And she has not contacted me again. And I knew exactly how and why. But her viral load went down when she was on ambush. Yet she was on ambush and all the other ARVs at the same time. Time because they work in tandem parapasu, with each other in which ambush kills the virus whereas the ARVs decrease or block the ability to replicate so ladies and gentlemen I bring you good news from the living Jesus to tell you that this 20 million people with HTLV-1, there is hope. And that hope is in ambush. And ambush is the cure for HIV because it kills the virus. 